I want you to understand that there are things that are happening in life today that are due to different entities that the church is not used to. I wish I was in London or something. Notice what the scriptures are saying. It's saying, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That means any entity that looks like flesh and blood, even though they are putting a fierce battle against you, they are not responsible. It might be your uncle, it might be your sister, it might be an auntie. All of them are being forced by a certain entity to fight you. They might not know it, but there is something forcing them. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So anything that is flesh might be your husband, might even be your wife, might be a girlfriend, might be a boyfriend, might be a boss, might be a manager sitting on your contract. Somebody who should recruit you and is sitting on your curriculum vitae. They are not responsible. There is something, something. Let me explain. Before you are denied a visa to America, there is a spiritual immigration officer who has denied you. Now, nah, you, you, see, see, you're missing it. <laughs> All the crying you have, oh, I needed to go to China. I didn't get a visa. I needed to go to Britain. I didn't get a visa. Sir, ma'am, you think it's the British government. No. There is another copy of the British government which is spiritual. Which has denied you before the interview. The most dangerous one is the Adenis rulers. All these demons have high ranks over rulers. But rulers control a territory or control a situation. Let me explain to you. Rulers have a throne. No, no, you're missing it. What, what it means is, if you notice, John was crying, looking for somebody who could open the book. And the Bible says, as he was crying, something came. An elder came from the throne and said, why are you crying? I have the information. Because rulers co-rule with God. But there are also rulers in the spiritual realm who co-rule with Satan. So these ones sit on thrones. When you meet a ruler, you are meeting a core Satan. You are meeting an assistant Satan. These ones are not like demons. They are demonic in nature, but they possess a certain power that they can make rules on their own, create their own constitution, apart from the ones demons are working on. These ones are not the ones you say out in the name of Jesus and they go. So most pastors meet rulers in their churches and they do three hours to cast out a ruler. Because rulers have thrones. They are seated in a certain location. So when you meet a ruler, you are in trouble. How do I notice the presence of a ruler in my life? Consistency and persistence of a curse over your life is a sign of a ruler. You don't know why in your, every time you find a job, they will fire you. You don't know why. You don't know why in your family, every time somebody gets married, they divorce. Then your sister gets divorced. Your mother gets divorced. Then your father encourages your sister to come back home. You don't know why. Because you're thinking it's a demon. So you are busy casting out a demon when it's a ruler. Your sister is not married. You are not married. Your uncle is not married. Your parents divorced. You think it's just some pattern. Listen, the consistence and persistence of a pattern determine the presence of a ruler in your life. No one in your family has ever gotten money yet. No one. And sometimes I call them almost miracles. Have you ever had an almost miracle? The man was bringing 20,000. Then, 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 just somebody just disturbed it. They were about to sign a contract and then, then, then this happened. I was about to get married, then my father died. I was about to get the job, but, but then, then, then my sister, then it's always an almost miracle. That's a persistence and consistence of a pattern. Every time you see a pattern in your life, you're not dealing with a demon anymore. 
Demons are quick to notice the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. The sons of Sceva were sons of priests. They said, out in the name of Jesus. Whom, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. The demon said, we know Paul. We know Jesus. Who are you? Because it wasn't just a demonic entity. It was a demon that controlled the territory. It possesses secrets of your family. This is not a generational case, sir. No. This is a demon that studies your family and sees that families prosper in this way. And they break that every time. Every time there is a breakthrough, they cut it. Every time there is a breakthrough, they cut it. I wish I'm talking to somebody who is experiencing something like that. Ah. This type of spirits don't need a pastor, sir. They don't need an evangelist, sir. No. They don't need a teacher. No. They don't even need an apostle. This has nothing to do with church management. This needs somebody with an eye that can look into the future. Gaze into the future. Somebody who can travel into the future and get there before you get there. And sir, it doesn't even require a prophet. It needs more than a prophet. The Bible says it this way. Moses and the prophets. Huh? Moses was a prophet. But when God described him, he said, Moses and the prophets. That means this is a prophet, but a beyond a prophet one. These are territorial commanders. People that get into the territory, destroy whatever is there. Remove it before you even do what? Mareta Balaskaba. Consistence and persistence will prove that there is something powering now, if your case is powered from a throne, you are in danger. Because rulers sit on a throne. Demons are free roaming. They have no territory. They just nudge and go on a case and catch on a case. They know this is the case you are experiencing. They are demons for this. They are demons for this. They are demons for that addiction. They can go there. But the moment it becomes a ruler, it sits on a throne. Different thrones are powering people, but we are sitting down thinking there is something greater. There are things that are powering people now. This is why it's so dangerous to fight men. You don't know which throne is powering them. <laughs> you might fight the wrong one at the wrong time. I speak to everyone here. As a prophet, not just as a man, as a prophet, I speak to you. I eradicate every throne, every throne, every altar, every power, every dominion, every stronghold. There is a prophetic word you need to cancel out thrones. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.